Hello, my name is Parker Leland, and I'm a family medicine resident with the Mayheck Hendersonville Family Medicine Residency. I'm a longtime lover of podcasts in and outside of medicine, and today I want to share my recommendations for 10 great podcasts that I listen to to broaden myself as an aspiring rural family medicine physician and as a person. This is by no means a definitive ranking of the best podcasts out there for primary care clinicians to listen to, but it's certainly a list of sources for sharing learning, questions, and conversations that I like to share. So without further introduction, here are 10 high-yield and worthwhile podcasts for family medicine physicians and residents in no particular order. Number one, Primary Care Wrap. Primary Care Wrap is an entertaining and extremely valuable monthly podcast full of audio CME presentations, reviews, and perspectives. Episodes consist of both paid and shorter free episodes, which last about 20 minutes. It has tons of free chapters for each podcast available online, but the monthly content lasts about three hours. Resident subscriptions cost $95 annually and goes up to about $400 for physicians, so it is one of the two more expensive podcasts on the list, but it's certainly a valuable source for concise learning and accruing CME. Number two, Curbsiders. The Curbsiders team is a national network of students, residents, and clinician educators. On each episode, Drs. Matthew Watto, Stuart Brigham, and Paul Williams combined new medical knowledge, study advice, life advice, and a healthy dose of humor for students, residents, and current practitioners. This podcast is ideal for those in internal medicine, family medicine, primary care, and hospital medicine. CME slash MOC points are available for American College of Physicians members. They're great episodes for how to be a star resident each year of training, along with consolidated information on specific topics, and is overall a great source for organizing your own didactics on any of these topics. Number three, Poems from Essential Evidence Plus. Each week, Dr. Mark Ebel, Poems Editor, joins Dr. Michael Wilkes, NPR Correspondent and Vice Dean of UC Davis Medical School, for a five-minute discussion about an important recent poem. The discussion provides additional depth and insight into issues covered by the poem synopsis. It usually lasts about five to eight minutes, but it's a great concise way to stay up to date about recent changes in practice. Number four, Audio Digest. Audio Digest is the best way to listen to lectures, take tests, and earn CME credit on the go if you're looking for a way to spend your personal or CME money. They offer a range of memberships. This is the second podcast with a more expensive subscription. Audio Digest publishes unbiased scientific and clinical courses presented by experts at the nation's preeminent teaching institutions. There's tons of content that covers a broad range of topics through their lectures for those that choose to pay for it. Number five, the AAFP Resident Podcast. Twice a month, faculty and residents of the University of Arizona College of Medicine, Phoenix Family Medicine Residency discuss key clinical points from each issue of the American Family Physician magazine. AFP publishes clinical reviews that keep physicians current with advances in diagnosis and treatment. The cheesy intro music may get stuck in your head, but so will the talking points. Usually only last 15 to 35 minutes. Number six. The Drive by Peter Adia is a weekly ultra deep dive podcast focusing on maximizing health, longevity, critical thinking, and a few other things. The podcast consists of interesting and in-depth conversations primarily related to chronic disease, quality of life, nutrition, and metabolic disease. Guests range from Olympic medalists, Navy SEALs, to PhDs in biochemistry. It also has a paid subscription called The Qualis. Episodes usually last about two hours, so if you're like me and you do other things while you're podcasting, this may not be the right thing for you. Number seven, Harrison's Pod Class. Courtesy of Access Medicine, Harrison's Pod Class delivers illuminating and engaging discussions on key principles of internal medicine around board style case vignettes from Harrison's self assessment and board review. Episodes usually only last 6 to 10 minutes, and it's an abundant source for quick testing on yourself on the go when you don't want to sit in front of a computer or paper to try your hand at test questions. Number 8. Frankly Speaking About Family Medicine Frankly Speaking About Family Medicine is a weekly podcast series covering newsworthy topics in primary care medicine. Each episode of the series, hosted by Frank J. Domino, professor of the Department of Family Medicine and Community Health at UMass Medical School, will feature interviews with family physicians about practice changing clinical research and cover patient-focused best practices in family medicine. Most episodes can also count for CME credit. Usually it lasts about 12 minutes, and it's a great way to get new learning pearls out of the small parts of your day. Number 9, EM Crit. 
EM Crit is an important and interesting podcast for FM physicians interested in continuing to have a scope in emergency and critical care medicine. EM Crit is devoted to maximally aggressive care, maximally aggressive curative care, and maximally aggressive palliative care per their description. To that end, Dr. Scott Weingart and his crew bring best evidence-based information from the fields of critical care, resuscitation, and trauma, and translate it for bedside use in the emergency department in the ICU. Episodes generally last 20 to 40 minutes. Every two weeks, they post a full 20-minute podcast on their website, and it's also filled with blog spots, links, and EM Critwees, which are mini podcasts. Number 10, Grayscale. Grayscale is a podcast that takes a look at the not-so-clear areas of medicine by sharing physicians' own difficult encounters. These stories will showcase what can often be forgotten, which is the humanity behind the physician. Episodes usually last around 20 minutes, and they're a great wealth of thoughts and experiences for the personal side of medicine. This podcast is ideal for people interested in palliative care. This network also hosts The Break, which is hosted by sports medicine-trained FM Jeremy Johnson, and it's a podcast that takes a clinical look at professional athlete injuries from a sports medicine perspective, but it doesn't have a robust amount of episodes, so there's not too much content here to make the list. So there you have it. Of course, there are plenty of podcasts that were left out, and there's tons I haven't discovered yet, but hopefully there's something new here for everyone to check out. Happy podcasting, everyone. This is The Black Bag. Thanks for listening.